I had done a lot of my own family research and at a certain point I became very curious about the databases. So I wrote a chapter on Confucius. As Confucius is the longest written genealogy in the world. A chapter on the Mormon Church because the Mormon Church has the largest genealogical database in the world. Ancestry.com because Ancestry is the largest commercial database in the world. And then genetic genealogy, so 23andMe, Ancestry, MyHeritage, all of those companies that are now amassing huge DNA databases. And Iceland, which has the most complete genealogical record of any nation. Particularly, I think the dangers really came to light with the DNA because these are privately held databases, databases that can essentially do what they want with your DNA information once you've given them the samples. They make more money by selling your DNA than they do by selling you the test kits. This is another case of you are the product, but in this case, you're also paying to be the product. So I think what we're really looking at now are the unanticipated uses of public DNA data. Privacy is kind of antithetical to genealogy. The best example of this was when law enforcement started to use a public genetic genealogy database to crack cold cases. Now I think we have to think forward in ways that we haven't anticipated. York has essentially left me alone to do really broadly interdisciplinary work to make documentary as a form of uh, knowledge dissemination. And I've had fantastic support from the university.